Um, Alex, talk about your All Whites Quad first of all. Um, when did you sort of get the call and was it from Darren and you know, how good did it feel to sort of have that conversation? Yeah, I got the call about two weeks ago from, um, from Bayes and look, I was uh, over the moon, really, really happy. Um, it's been a crazy year for me, so yeah, as I said, just really, really happy and really proud. And you and Bayes obviously sort of go back a long way, eight years, go back to the World Cup, but yeah, you wouldn't have had a lot to do with them, at least in a coaching sense, in the in-between times. What have, you sort of, have you sort of stayed in contact with them at all? Yeah, of course. Um, as you said, I spent a lot of my youth with Bayes during the uh, 17s, 20s, um, 23s, and a little bit with the national team, so I know what he's like as a coach, and um, it's a great opportunity for him, and um, yeah, we, we need to win these games and really, really excited to work with them again. Um, if we go back to your last points of parents, and I probably you might not want to, but obviously it was Lithuania, you started, mm -hmm. you got at half time. What do you remember about, I guess, the half time and sort of being replaced in that game? Yeah, look, as you said, it was a long time ago. Um, I'm definitely a better player now, and you know, you have to learn from every every situation, and you know, that's, that's what I've done. So now I'm back in the team, and I'm not worrying about that that back then so yeah I'm really positive and uh, just confident leading into the camp. Yeah that was your first all whites game, you know it was almost the first you know, the team had played in 18 months. Um, you know you sort of got the chance to start, you know what do you remember feeling in the wake of that game? No it was really, I felt really good, um, the preparation was good, bit of a, from what I remember it was the travel schedule was pretty crazy but that's normal for us and I'm just really excited to play at home now and um, yeah as you said just really happy to be back involved. Talk about you being a better player. I mean, I think everyone would agree you have improved. Basically, himself sort of said, you know, he's been really impressed by the way you've, I guess, become a bit more progressive and sort of moving the ball forward. Um, is that something that you've really had as a bit of a work on, I guess, throughout the last three and a half years? Yeah. Look, I think I've always had it. Um, I think I definitely do play forward a lot more. But look, these things, these th these things come. Um, as I said, I I've worked on it and. Now I just need to keep doing it and stay consistent and um, you know the more I play the, uh, the better I feel and the better I, I feel I'll, I'll get and um, yeah it's, it's all looking good. It sort of felt like you know, since you come back from this latest injury you know there's a lot more first touch stuff, a lot more perhaps trust and hoping and knowing that your, your tens will be where they are and you know the angles to sort of make passes. Is that something that you sort of sense as a player? I think we've always had good number tens here and um, like you said um, Every time we play forward, we know they're going to turn and they're going to keep it, and that just gets us up the field really well. And look, they've been playing really well as well, which makes our job easier. Um, just on your contract situation, um, how close are you to signing a new deal? Yeah, look, you're really close. Um, the discussions are going really well, so look, that's all I've got to say about that, really. But yeah, I want to stay, and I'm really happy here. Um, you know, you do look at some of the guys who have. Sort of said they're leaving. Um, you know, it's Clayton, sort of a core midfielder, Ollie goalkeeper, one of the longest serving players alongside yourself. And, you know, Uthi's obviously off contract as well. How much is there a sense that you've got to be a bit of a rock and, you know, I guess a core player for this team? Is it maybe just a bit of a, a transition? Yeah, look, they're big losses for us. Great players, great, great lads, first and foremost. But look, football, people have to make decisions on their future, and, you know, I'm really happy for them both. They deserve everything they get because they they deserve it. So, um, you know, for, and for me personally, I just need to make a decision that's best for me. Um, I don't worry about what others are doing, and I just, as I said, just worry about what I what I want and what's good for me and my family. Um, Sydney FC tomorrow. Um, yeah, you know, if you win, you get four points of a buffer to them. You really cement yourselves like in that top five. Um, how big is tomorrow's game? It's massive. Um, I think every game for us leading now into the finals is, is a big game. But look, we just take it game by game, and as you said, they're a good team. They need to win as well. So, look, it's a big game, and um, we're up for the challenge. How big is that motivation of a potential home playoff? Oh, it's massive. We've been away for two years. Very, very tough two years for us. And look, there's nothing better than playing at home, especially in, the, in those big games. And just lastly, uh, for me, um, Oscar Zawada and uh, Oscar Lecrae, you know, they've been two of the best attackers in the league this season. You've been around the A League for a decade now. You know, where do you think they sort of sit? And how good is it knowing that? they're both under contract for next season, that you're going to have that continuity. Look, you said it, they've been very, very good for us. Um, very, very good players. Um, we've had some good players, obviously, up front and in, in those positions. But look, for me, you know, I don't really, really like comparing to others because you know there's no need to put unnecessary pressure on them. But look, they, they've been very, very good for us and they're going to continue doing that. And I believe that they're going to only get better. Most of the home advantage that you guys do have left, I guess, being in Auckland and one left in Wellington. Massive. Um, 
as you said, we've only got two games left. We need to pick up as many points as we can and then uh, pick up as many points away from home too. So, look, it's it's very, very close this year. And, um, but look, we're ready for the challenge and we're, we're looking forward to it. Have you talked to the team about where you want to try to finish up on the table? Yeah, look, as a team, we believe we're, we are good enough to be in the top four. Um, but as I said, it's very, very close. And, you know, one slip up in terms of a result and you could be straight down to seventh or from fourth to sixth. So, look, for us, it's about, you know, maintaining our consistency and maintaining the way we've been playing and just picking up points. Does it feel any different, I guess, this time around compared to the last couple of years when you've been, like, pushing for playoffs, I guess, being at home? Does it feel any different? Yeah, it's the biggest difference, probably, just the fact that we've got, you know, our home support. Um, I also think we've got a better team, but look, it's it's exciting. There's pressure, but you know we thrive under pressure, and that's why we're here. Um, but look, no, we're really, really happy, and um, two games left at home, and we need to pick up maximum points. Uh, last time you played Sydney, it was pretty intense. Do you reckon it's going to be similar tomorrow? Yeah, look, hopefully not as intense, but I'm guessing the game is going to be an intense game. Obviously, both teams fighting for three points, and um, you know, hopefully, we get a good crowd here, and we're really looking forward to it. Alex, two more from me. Um, yeah, you're captain of this club. Um, have you talked to Luffy at all about his future and sort of maybe said how much, I mean, do you want him to sign on for more? Of course I want him to stay. Um, that's easy. Look, for me, again, it's unfortunately when you have good, good players and good coaches, they're always going to have offers, they're going to have options, and, you know, that's football. Um, as I said, I worry about myself and, and, and playing good, good games and... Um, you know, making the best decision for me. So I know if he's going to do that too, and of course, I'd love to see him here again. If he does, then would you consider Chiefy as a potential replacement? Look, again, um, Chiefy's a very, very good coach. Um, I think he also deserves a chance to, to, to coach at the top. So, look, that's not really my decision to make, and I know the club are going to make the right decision whether or not if he's here or not. And um, as I said, Hopefully, if he's here, and if he's not, I'm sure they'll make a good decision. In your mind right now, is it more likely or not that he's going to leave? Oh, look, I can't cross that bridge, mate. I really don't know. As I, as I said, um, he's going to make his decision that what he thinks is going to be best for his future, and um, whatever he does, we wish him all the best. But as I said, we, we hope he's here. Cool. Thank you, Alex. Cheers.